So for the next part of our pin down video, last part here, we're gonna do uh, the pin down. The person's gonna be getting the screen. Anthony is gonna be the screener. And as the point guard, we're reading the defenders. Now we don't have the defenders there, but we're gonna act like the defender of Anthony is gonna be cheating the play. And the other guy's gonna be locking and trailing against Chris. So I'm gonna be able to hit the screener man on a slip. We call that a slip, where they, instead of setting the screen, they can just slip out, or able to catch that ball, able to finish it for a layup, whatever the case may be. Uh, but we're gonna work on that. So I'll show Chris once you get here. I'll be the defender at first, just to demonstrate what cheating the play and how uh, they slip. And so Anthony, actually you be the defender, Anthony. Right? I'm coming here, I'm setting the pin down. I'm the big, there's a point guard there. If I see the big step up above my hips, here, I'm bang, I'm quickly right here. There's that separation because he thinks the ball's going to our knockdown shooter right here with his left hand. We got him right there, we got me right here, slipping, and I'll be the point guard. So the point guard has to read the big man. And for this, we're going to see that the big man is cheating the play. And a lot of people do this, they think they're lazy, they want to try to get a quick, easy steal, to take the easy way out. That's where we're able to capitalize and make the most out of our play. So we're calling the play as the point guard. Again, we're reading our man, we're reading the defenders, and trying to be able to make an on-time, on-target pass. Again, that is a huge emphasis of putting the ball where the guy wants it to be able to finish or make a play. So we're running this pin down play. Pass, he's gonna go set it. Chris is gonna wait for the screen. I'm gonna be here. Chris, hold on one sec. I'm gonna be, I have to be, uh, emphasize, my man is still on me, so I have to create that space to be able to pass the ball with either hand uh, to Papio. So I'm here, I'm pressing down, I'm pressing down, face. I see the big slip. So for, so, uh, for me guys, real quick, I create this space, it's back dribble here. The big's cheating the play. I'm here, bad slip, I got him right here. Because the big is gonna be out on Chris guarding him. So it's all about the feel, the connection, uh, from a young age with your teammates, uh, with the screener, with the guy here, you just have to be able to maybe show eyes before Anthony we see on the last play, the biggest cheat in the play. We really want him to be able to cut and give us a, a target to where he wants the ball, where he's able to make the best play for our team. So we're gonna go through it again here. Again, we wanna emphasize also the spacing between the two. I know it's a little bit of a tougher pass, so I wanna be able to get my man on. He set the screen, he pops, he slips. He's looked out. He's on time, on target pass for Anthony to go lay the ball in. Now this is against a cheating, cheating big man with a locking trail or a, a, a trail defender on Chris, but where, where we are able to take advantage of the cheating man, hit him on the slip because they know that we have a knockdown shooter over in the corner.